वेलकम एवरी वन टूडे वील टॉक अबाउट द ओरिजिन ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस अ जर्नी इन टू द माइंड लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द इनिग्मा ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस कॉन्शियसनेस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रोफाउंड एंड मिस्टीरियस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन एग्जिस्टेंस इट इज अ वेरी असेंस ऑफ आवर बींग द इंटेंजिबल पर्जेंस दैट अलाउ अस टू एक्सपीरियंस द वर्ल्ड टू थिंक टू फील एंड टू रिफ्लेक्ट for centuries philosopher scientists and theologians have pondered the origin and nature of consciousness what is it where does it come from and why do we as a human being possess it consciousness is not merely a by product of our brain activity it is the lens through which we interpret our reality at despite its central role in our lives the true nature of consciousness remain elusive the journey to understand consciousness takes us across the vast landscape of knowledge encompassing discipline as diverse as a neuroscience philosophy psychology and artificial intelligence in this video we will embark on a journey into the mind to explore the origin of self consciousness we will delve into the historical perspectives that have shaped our understanding of consciousness the scientific discovery that have brought us closer to unraveling the mystery and the ongoing debate that continue to challenge our perception of what it means to be conscious so let's start with the philosophical root of consciousness the quest to understand the cons- consciousness has deep philosophical roots dating back to the ancient civilization of greece india and china the ancient greek philosopher plato for instance viewed mind as a realm of ideal form distinct from the physical world he believed that the consciousness was a manifestation of the soul and eternal essence that transcended the material body aristotle other hand took a more empirical approach he saw consciousness as a inherent aspect of living being closely tied to the physical form for aristotle the soul was not a separate entity but rather the life force that animated the body he proposed that the different level of consciousness existed ranging from the basic sensations of plant to the higher reasoning abilities of human in eastern philosophy of consciousness has been a central theme for thousand of years in hinduism more example the concept of atman represent the eternal self or soul which is ultimately one with the brahma the universal consciousness the veda ancient hindu scripture explore the idea that individual consciousness is a reflection of this universal consciousness and that self realization involves transcending the ego to experience this oneness buddhism too offer a unique perspective to consciousness the buddha taught that the consciousness is not a fixed entity but a constantly changing process according to the buddhist philosophy what we perceive as the self is merely a aggregation of five skandhas or aggregates one of which is consciousness the goal of buddhist practice is to attain enlightenment a state in which one sees through the illusion of a permanent self and experiences the true nature of consciousness chinese philosophy also contribute to our understanding of consciousness taoism for instance emphasize the importance of the aligning with the tao the fundamental principle that underlies the universe taoist thought suggests that the consciousness arises from the harmonious interaction of yin 
and yang the complementary forces that govern all natural phenomena this early philosophical exploration laid the groundwork for later thinker who continued to grapple with the nature of consciousness the medieval period saw the rise of a scholasticism a philosophical system that sought to reconcile the christian theology with the work of asian greek philosophers figures like thomas aquinas argued that the consciousness was a divining gift bestowed upon human by god this theistic perspective would do- dominate western thought for the century until the scientific revolution began to challenge traditional views now let's talk about the birth of modern consciousness the descartes and the mind body problem 17th century marked as a turning point in the study of consciousness with the emergence of modern philosophy and the scientific revolution one of the most influenced figure of this period was ren descartes a french philosopher and a mathematician whose ideas would shape the course of western thought descartes is the perhaps best known for his statement cogito ergo sum i think therefore i am this simple yet profound assertion encompasses the descartes belief that consciousness is the fundamental of the all knowledge for descartes the very act of the thinking was proof of his existence as a conscious being this led him to propose a dualistic view of reality in which the mind and body are separate entities the mind or soul is the seat of consciousness while the body is a mechanical entity governed by the laws of physics descartes dualism posed a significant challenge to the emerging scientific world view which sought to explain all natural phenomena in terms of physical process the mind body problem as it come to be known resolve around the question of how a non physical mind could interact with the physical body descartes himself struggled to answer this questions proposing that the mind influence the body through the pineal gland a small structure in the brain however this this explanation was met with the skepticism and the mind body problem remain unsolved to this day despite its limitation descartes dualism had a profound impact on subsequent philosophical and scientific thought it laid the groundwork for the development of psychology as a distinct discipline and inspired later thinker to explore alternative theory of consciousness so let's talk about the rise of empiricism and the materialism in the century that followed the study of consciousness become increasingly influenced by principle of empiricism and the materialism empiricism championed by philosophers such as john locke and the david hume emphasized the role of sensory experience in the shaping our understanding of the world locke in the particular argued that the mind is a tabula rasa or blank state at the birth and that all knowledge is acquired through experience this view suggested that the consciousness is not a innate quality but rather a product of our interaction with the environment whom took this idea further by the challenging the notion of unified self he argued that what we perceive as the self is merely a bundle of perception with no underlying substance for whom consciousness was not a fixed entity but a constantly changing stream of experiences materialism on the other hand how to explain consciousness is a purely physical terms thomas hobbes a uh, contemporary of descartes was one of the earliest proponents of 
materialism he rejected the idea of separate mind or soul instead arguing that consciousness was a by product of physical process in the brain this materialistic perspective would gain traction in the 19th and 20th century as advances in neuroscience began to reveal the complex working of the brain one of the key development in this period was the discovery of neuron the basic unit of nervous system in the late 19th century scientists such as stingo roman by kajal and the komio golgi used microscopy techniques to study the structure of neurons their work laid the foundation for modern neuroscience and provide the first clues about how brain activity might give rise to consciousness as neuroscience advanced the materialistic view of consciousness became increasingly dominant the researchers began to explore the relationship between activity and conscious experience leading to the development of various theory of consciousness some of these theories such as the global work space theory and the integrated information theory attempt to explain how different region of the brain work together to produce consciousness awareness now we'll talk about the cognitive revolution and the emergence of artificial intelligence the mid 20th century saw the rise of cognitive science a interdisciplinary field that sought to understand the mind by combining insight from the psychology, neuroscience, computer science and other discipline. The cognitive revolution was marked by the shift away from the behavioralism which had dominated psychology in the early 20th century and towards the focus on internal mental processes. One of the key figure in the cognitive revolution was Alan Turing, a British mathematician and logician whose work laid the foundation of modern computing. Turing test which assessed a machine ability to exhibit intelligent behavior indistinguishable from the that of a human raise important question about the nature of consciousness. could a machine ever be truly conscious or is consciousness an inherently biological phenomenon the evident of artificial intelligence ai has further fueled the debate over the nature of consciousness some researchers argue that consciousness is a emergence property of complex information processing suggesting that sufficiently advanced ai system could in theory become conscious other contend that consciousness is tied to the biological structure of the brain and cannot be replicated in a machine the development of artificial intelligence ai has also led the new philosophical question about nature of the self and the boundaries of the consciousness if a machine can think and reason like a human does it have a self what rights if any should it have these questions challenge our traditional understanding of consciousness and the force us to reconsider what it means to be a conscious being now let's talk about the neuroscience and the quest to understand the brain in recent decades advances in neuroscience have brought us closer than ever to understand the biological basis of consciousness techniques such as functional magnetic resonance imaging fmri and electroencephalography eeg have allowed researchers to study brain activity in unprecedented details revealing the neural correlates of conscious experience one of the key finding of modern neuroscience is that conscious is not the localized in a single region of the brain but rather arise from the coordinated activity of multiple brain neuron networks for example the default mode network a set of interconnected brain regions is thought to play a crucial role in self referential thoughts 
and introspection similarly the silence network help us brain prioritize importance stimuli while the executing control network that regulates the decision making and goal directed behavior the interplay between these network and the other contribute to dynamic integrated nature of consciousness experience the discovery of this network has led to the development of new theories about how consciousness arises from brain activity one such theory is the global work space theory gwt proposed by the cognitive scientist bond beers in the late 20th century according to d gwt consciousness function as a global work space in the brain where information from different sensory and the cognitive process is integrated and made available for the other system such as these involved in the decision making and memory this theory suggests that consciousness is a mechanism for broadcasting information throughout the brain allowing it to be used by various cognitive processes another prominent theory is integrated information theory iit so iit developed by the neuroscientist galileo tononi iit posits that the consciousness is a fundamental property of certain physical system that can integrate information in a particular way according to iit the level of consciousness of a system is determined by the amount of integrated information it can generate quantity referred as pi this theory provide a mathematical framework for understanding consciousness and suggest that even the non biological system such as certain types of ai could possess some degree of consciousness if they meet the criteria for information interest despite the process made by the theory like gwt and iit the hard problem of consciousness a term coined by philosopher david chalmers remains unsolved the hard problem refers the ch- explaining why and how subjective experience or qualia arise from the physical process in the brain while neuroscience has made significant a stride in the identifying the neural correlates of consciousness it has yet to be explained why these neural processes are accompanied by a first person experience now let's talk about the evolutionary origin of consciousness to understand the origin of consciousness we must consider its history consciousness is not a recent phenomenon it is like the result of million of year of evolution shaped by natural selection to serve a specific adaptive function by examining the evolutionary root of consciousness we can gain insight in, into its purpose and the condition under which it emerged one of the leading hypotheses about the evolution of consciousness is the social intelligence hypothesis which suggests that the consciousness evolved as a result of complex social interaction that characterized the lives of early human and their ancestors according to this hypothesis the ability to understand and predict the behavior of other to navigate social hierarchies and to form aliens would have the conferred significant survival advantage consciousness with its capacity to self reflection empathy and theory of mind the ability to attribute mental state to oneself and other may have evolved to enhance this social cognitive abilities another hypothesis is the attention schema theory that proposed by neuroscientist michael grezino ast suggests that the consciousness evolve as a mechanism for controlling attention allowing organism to selectively focus on relevant stimuli in their environment according to this theory the brain construct a internal model or a schema 
of its own attention process which it used to uses to guide behavior and decision making this internal model is what we experience as a consciousness this is internal model is what we experience as a consciousness ast posits that the consciousness is not a fundamental property of brain but rather a useful tools that evolve to manage complex information processing the biological advantage hypothesis that that offer it another perspective suggesting that consciousness evolve because it provide a biological advantage in terms of survival and reproduction for example the ability to experience pain and the pleasure which are central to conscious experiences may have evolved to motivate organisms to avoid harmful stimuli and seek out beneficial one consciousness could also enhance a organism ability to learn from experience adapt to changing environment and plan for the future the evolutionary perspective also raise intriguing questions about the consciousness of the non human animals many animals particularly those with complex nervous system exhibit behavior that suggests they may possess some form of consciousness for example certain species of birds mammals even cephalopods like octopus domesticate behavior indicative of problem solving self awareness and social interaction understanding the consciousness of non human animal can shed light on the evolutionary root of our own consciousness and challenge our assumption about the unique of human experience now let's talk about the consciousness and the self the illusion of identity one of the most pro- profound aspect of consciousness is the sense of self the feeling that there is a unified i that experience the world makes decision and has continuity over time however both philosophical inquiry and the scientific research suggest that the self may be an illusion a construct of mind rather than a fixed enduring entity the idea that the self is illusion is not new it has been a central tenet of many stern philosophies for the century in buddhism for example the concept of anatta refer to the doctrine of non self which posits that the self is not a permanent or unchanging essence but rather a collection of ever changing mental and the physical processes the goal of buddhist practice is to realize this truth and transcend the illusion of self leading to a state of enlightenment in western philosophy the notion of the self as a illusion has been explored by thinkers such as david hume who argue that the self is nothing more than a bundle of perception with no underlying substances modern cognitive science has provide further support for this idea by showing that the brain construct the sense of self through the integration of various sensory input memories and cognitive processes the concept of self construct theory offer a compelling explanation for how the brain create the illusion of a unified self according to this theory the brain generate a narrative that ties together past experiences current perception and future intentions into a coherent sense of identity this narrative is constantly being updated as new information is processed but because the brain is so so adept at maintain, maintaining continuity we experience the self as a stable unchanging entity however this sense of self can be disrupted in certain neurological condition providing insight into its construct nature for example individual with dissociative identity disorder did formerly known as multiple personality disorder experience the presence of multiple distinct identities or 
altered each with its own sense of self similarly conditions such as schizophrenia or depersonalization disorder can cause individual to feel detached from their sense of self or to perceive their identity as a fragmented this condition suggests that the self is not a fixed identity fixed entity but at fluid dynamics construct that can be altered or even dissolve under certain circumstances this raises profound question about the nature of identity and the challenges our conventional understanding of what it means to be a conscious being so let's talk about the alter state of consciousness so exploring the boundaries of the mind consciousness is not a static state it can be altered in a variety of ways revealing the diverse and the malleable nature of the mind alter state of the consciousness can be induced by a range of factor including meditation hypnosis psychoactive substances and certain medical condition this alter state provide valuable insight into the me- mechanism of consciousness and the potential for the expanding our understanding of the mind one of the most well being alter state of consciousness is sleep particularly the phase known as REM sleep that is rapid eye movement sleep during this which vivid dream occur so dream are a unique form of consciousness that combines elements of waking experience with fantastical and the often surreal imaginary studying the neural correlates of dreaming has provide clues about how the brain generate consciousness experiences and how these experiences differ from waking consciousness meditation a practice rooted in the various spiritual tradition is another powerful way to alter consciousness through techniques such as focus attention mindfulness and transcendental meditation practitioner can achieve a state of deep relaxation heightened awareness or even the delusion of the self so neuroscientific research on the meditation has revealed changes in the brain activity associated with this alter state such as increased coherence between the different brain regions and the modulation of neuronal oscillation hypnosis is at another example of a alter state of consciousness that characterized by focus attention heightened suggestibility and the reduced peripheral awareness and reduce peripheral awareness under hypnosis individual can experience changes in the perception memory and behavior that would be default to achieve in a normal waking state hypnosis has been used therapeutically to the treat conditions such as chronic pain anxiety and post traumatic stress disorder ptsd that's suggesting that the altered state of consciousness can have practical application for the mental health next is psychoactive substance including psychedelic like lsd psilocybin and the ayahuasca can profoundly alter the consciousness leading to experiences that range from mystical and transcendent to terrifying and the disorienting these substances affect the brain's serotonin receptor particularly the 5HT2A receptor which play a key role in the regulating mood perception and cognition the study of psychedelic has gained a renewed interest in recent research in recent year with research exploring their potential to treat conditions such as depression anxiety and addiction psychedelic experience often involve in delusion of the boundary of self leading to feeling of unity with the universe or a deep sense of interconnectedness neurological conditions such as epilepsy migraine aura and the near death experiences nde can also induce alter state of the consciousness for example some individual with epilepsy report experiences profound religious or mythical experience 
during the seizure a phenomenon known as temporal lobe epilepsy near death experiences often reported by individual who have been close to death to have undergone resus resus citation can involve out of the body experiences encounter with decreased love one or sense of moving towards bright light these experiences challenges our understanding of consciousness and suggest that it may extend beyond the boundaries of the physical body the study of consciousness is also likely to benefit from advances in neuroimaging technology such as functional magnetic resonance and imaging like fmri or meg and optogenetic have already provided unprecedented insight into brain activity and its relation to conscious experience so despite these existing possibilities the study of consciousness faces significant challenge the subjectivity of the consciousness make it inherently default to a study causing traditional scientific method which rely on subjective measurement and observation the exploration of consciousness also invites us to reconsider the relationship between consciousness and the reality so philosopher and physicist alike have a debate whether consciousness is a fundamental aspect of the universe perhaps akin to a space and time or whether it is emergent properties of the complex system like brain some theories such, such as panpsychisms propose that the consciousness is a fundamental feature of all matter suggesting that even the most basic particles pose some form of the awareness while this idea remains controversial it highlighted the profound question about the nature of existence that consciousness research continue to provoke as we move forward it is likely that our understanding of consciousness will be continue to evolve in a way that challenges our current assumption and expand the horizon of the human knowledge the study of consciousness is not just a scientific experiences it is a philosophical journey that touches on the deepest aspect of what it mean to be human by exploring the mystery of consciousness we not only seek to understand the working of the mind but also illuminate the nature of existence itself in conclusion the origin and nature of consciousness remain among the most profound and challenges question in science and philosophy from the early philosophical musings of the discard to be a cutting edge research of contemporary neuroscience the study of consciousness has made significant strides it much remain to be discovered as we continue to unravel the mystery of the mind we must remain open to new ideas and perspective recognizing that a consciousness is a complex and multifaceted phenomenon that may ultimately defy simple explanation the journey into the origin of consciousness is a journey into the essence of what it mean to be alive aware and connected to the world around us it is a journey that challenges us to confront the limit of what understanding that to question the nature of reality and to explore the boundary of the mind in the end the study of consciousness is not just about uncovering the mechanism of the brain it is also seeking to understand the very nature of existence and our place within it as we continue this journey we may find that the answer would be seek lies not only in the complex working of the brain but also in the deeper mystery of this universe itself so thank you for watching and see you in the next video